This is crazy. So right now we're in Soho. All of these stores are boarded up. Julia got that apocalyptic feeling. It's great that we came here because we were able to witness something and feel like we're in solidarity. And I think that's important, especially for communities of color, because we need to be there for each other. Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! It is Tuesday, June 2nd, and I am about to head out to Foley Square for the vigil and the march. I haven't been to Manhattan in months since the quarantine, and so as a journalist and as a person, I am super curious. I always want to see things with my own eyes, and so I want to check out what Manhattan looks like, and I want to see what the overall vibe is of the demonstration there. All right, we just walked the Brooklyn Bridge. Yep. We got to Manhattan, about to head to Foley right now. A lot, a lot of police presence. You guys want a snack, water, no. love? I've been feeling a lot of love. The free water being passed out, the snacks, free legal aid. I mean, that water is necessary. Like I already finished one bottle because I'm dehydrated. It's yeah. hot out here. We're on Broom and Broadway. Right now we're trying to catch up with the main contingency of the march. When we got to Foley Square, it looks like they were already on the move, headed uptown. And we think they're at Cooper Union, which shouldn't be that far from here. We walked through downtown Manhattan and through Soho, and it was pretty trippy seeing so many of the businesses boarded up in anticipation of looting. doing our best to follow the other stragglers who were trying to meet up with the main part of the demonstration, but we were pretty much relying on social media to find out where the march was in real time. All right, approaching Washington Square Park. That's actually where they ended up, not Cooper Square. And I can hear them from across the street right now. Right when we arrived, the communal vibe was super strong. As you can see, there were people giving away free water, snacks. We finally yeah. caught up with the demonstration. <laughs> I have to carry Zoe because she's gonna get stepped on. After a while of chanting and moments of silence, the crowd eventually headed out of the park uptown. At this point, we were pretty wiped from walking all the way there from Brooklyn. We pretty much just had a seat and decided to end our day there. I think it's great that we came here because we were able to witness something and feel like we're in solidarity. I'm headed to another protest today. This one's in Brooklyn. Grand Army Plaza. For the march at Grand Army Plaza, luckily I got there on time. And again, right away, there was so much community building, resources. The crowd here did feel more diverse than the crowd at Washington Square Park, at least in age. It seemed like there were a lot more older folks and a lot more families. Center, there was like 20 water bottles for 2,000 protesters, and I was like, There's an issue here, so I was like, All right, we're gonna do something to help these protesters to help them keep going because this movement is everything. The group eventually headed out of Grand Army Plaza towards downtown Brooklyn as most of the crowd headed out together. There were still so many people joining up with them and streaming through the park. And even though emotions are super strong, people are angry and super passionate, you could also feel that there is hope for things to change. 